The Mendian Honey Falls Lima Sentinel welcomes you to this edition of the Mayor's and Supervisors Weekly Update, brought to you by... Each week, our community makes history. Each week, you make history. And each week, there's only one source to turn to for the first take on history. You know what that is? Subscribe to the Sentinel right now to discover the history being made in your own backyard. The Mendian Honey Falls Lima Sentinel. More than just your news, it's your history. Hey, welcome everyone to this week's edition of the Mayors and Supervisors Update. I'm Chris Carosa, publisher of the Men in Honey Lake Falls Lima Sentinel. And each week we bring you the goings on in the various towns and villages that we cover. Let's start off this week with Mike Falk in the town of Lima, perhaps maybe something on Livingston County. Mike, what do we have going on this week? Hey, Chris, thanks for having us as always. I uh, Mayor Skiptunis and I have been uh, reviewing the uh, fireworks contract for 2024. Uh, it looks to be a slightly longer show, and uh, it is uh, something that in uh, principle we have agreed to do and have to bring it back to our boards to approve. Uh, but it is looking good. Uh, the Lima Town Board meets on Tuesday, September 5th, 6 p.m., uh, on the agenda, of course, the uh, annual health care plans have to be approved. Uh, the public hearing for the partial exemption for first responders on their property taxes will be going on. And the tentative budget will have been presented to the clerk by that time, so the town board will have it to be able to work on. Uh, I would also remind you that uh, September is national library card month. Uh, if you do not have a library card, this is the time to go and sign up. Uh, the Lima Library is open and online and would love to have you as a customer. And otherwise, a happy Labor Day to all. That's all I got, Chris. All right. Thanks, Mike. John, town of Menden. Happy Labor Day to everybody or darn close to it. Uh, recently, the street lights in and around the Hamlet of Menden have been replaced with LED. That was something we did in conjunction with RG&E through a grant program. Uh, Spray Park, the town it had been advertised to close on Labor Day uh, due to uh, the fact that we had to close it down for a while for maintenance. Uh, we are going to leave it open through. The end of September, obviously, uh, it is a weather generated type of activity. So um, I know the forecast in early September looks pretty good. So hopefully we'll get some use out of it. Uh, our next town board meeting is Monday, September 11th. That is when there will be a budget presentation for the 2024 Town of Menden budget. The following meeting to that one is Monday the 25th, uh, which at which case the town board can make changes to the tentative budget and declare it a preliminary budget. Uh, normally we have a public hearing at the meeting following that is on October 16th and usually the budget is adopted at that time. So I would encourage any residents that would like to get involved in the budget process to attend either in person or you can always attend via Zoom. I need glasses uh, to read my own writing. Uh, we're in the process uh, Labor Day weekend of sealing and uh, restriping the community center and the Men and Public Library. So those parking lots are closed for the weekend. And just a quick reminder as we move into the fall season that there is no leaf pickup in the town of Menden, uh, with the exception of the Village of Honey Eye Falls. Village of Honey Eye Falls residents pay for leaf pickup in their taxes. There is no pickup in the town outside the village. And once again, that is not your mailing address. That is whether you live inside the village, which is basically the 30 mile an hour zone around Honey Falls. Uh, October 14th is our recycle event. That's going to take place on Summel Road at the Highway Department Garage. Uh, prescription, the Munder County Sheriff's Department will be there for prescription recycling, shredding, and uh, electronics recycling, and a rabies clinic. 
So uh, just to reiterate something that I've been talking about for the last week or so is that school's opening. A lot of school buses are going to be on the road. A lot of children are going to be walking on the sidewalks and a lot of activity around the various schools. So please be mindful of all that type of activity. And happy Labor Day to everybody. All right. Thanks, John. John, one question on the recycling day. Will you be recycling paint? No. The Monroe County does not allow for things like batteries, paint, tires. You you can take them to the uh the uh I can't think of the name of it, over by the airport. And uh the but you need an appointment. Eco Park. Eco Park, thank you. Eco okay, great. All right. Thanks, John. And now it's over to Steve, town of Henrietta. What's happening there? <laughs> well, of course, uh the part that nobody likes, school tax payments uh, have started. Um, the installments are due by September 15th, and final payment is due on October 1st if you're making a um, or a full payment. Uh, that October 1st date is a Sunday this year, so Monday will actually be the last day for the full payments. If you want to make an installment payment, it's essential you get your first installment in by the 15th. Um, if, if you don't make a, that first installment payment, you're required to make the full payment by the end of the month. Um, bills were mailed out on the 30th, so you should be receiving them this weekend or maybe early next week. If you haven't received them by Wednesday, uh, you can get a copy from the clerk's office. If you want to buy, pay by credit card or electronic check, you can do so on the Monroe County website but there is a service fee for either of those, although the service fee for electronic check is a little bit less than credit card, as I understand it. Um, also, we have a drop box outside the Eastern entrance that you can drop payments at any time, day or night. We added that during COVID and it's been great and we've kept it ever since. Um, it is a slot that then comes directly into the clerk's office. So it's, it's nice and secure. As long as it is in the box before the start of the next business day, it counts as being in the previous business day. So if you're hitting that, you know, October 1st deadline and you haven't gotten in, you could show up at 8.45 a.m. the next day. It would still count as making it in by the deadline. Um, so again, that's on the Eastern entrance of town hall. Uh, so if you come in the parking lot, it'll be on your right hand side. Um, we uh, finished the install of the new sidewalks on Highland Drive, minus a couple portions. Um, those portions were waiting for the uh, the signals, crosswalk signals and stuff like that to go in. They'll, they'll have to go under the sidewalk there, so it didn't make sense to put down the sidewalk only to have it torn up to put in the, the signal work. So uh, we've just got stone in those spaces for now. but. Uh, this, the sidewalk on Highland, it's on the west side. It goes from Jefferson Road down to the southeast uh, mall entrance. Um, that's phase one. We'll probably do phase two next year. This is all being paid for by fund balances that were in the Marketplace Transportation Development District. So no town property taxes were used uh, to, to pay for the sideways sidewalk, which of course helps keep our tax rates down. Work starts shortly on the ball fields in Veterans Memorial Park. Uh, we are regrading the outfields, improving the infields, and adding new lights. We're also changing one of the softball fields to a football soccer field, and they will be properly uh, striped and lit for that. Um, they currently have been kind of just playing in one of the outfields, and it wasn't super well suited for, for that purpose. So uh, this is going to become a a dedicated football slash soccer field. Um, so, you know, as they say, pardon our dust. Uh, there will be a lot of work around there. We're keeping field two open for fall softball leagues. Um, there will be some, the lights being installed are beyond the field of play. We won't start the trenching until after uh, that those fall leagues finish up. Uh, sport courts in Veterans Memorial Park, they're moving along, the fencing and equipment is installed, and now they're sealing the courts. Please stay off the 
courts while they are being sealed. Uh, in fact, we had to remove the basketball rims because the instant we put the basketball rims, people were sneaking onto the courts to play ball, including the, the fences aren't secured at the bottom right now because they have to seal under them. And so people were kind of lifting the fences to get in there. So we decided we'll remove the rims to remove that temptation. Um, but this will be in addition to all new uh, basketball courts replacing the, exi the previously existing basketball and tennis courts. We're also adding four dedicated pickleball courts as well as striping the two tennis courts for pickleball. So, uh, And then the fencing has windscreens along the western side since that's the prevailing winds. We're going to try to find a uh, corporate sponsor who wants to pay for that windscreening, maybe put their name up there so that, again, we save taxpayer dollars. Um, and then those will be lit so that you will be able to continue playing pickleball into the night, uh, you know, especially during the uh, spring and fall when it gets dark well before the park closes. park closes at 10 p.m. So um, court construction has continued to pace. The non-structural steel has been going in, so the walls are taking form. It's really starting to shape up. Uh, I just gave a couple people a tour of it the other day. Um, very excited. Um, we're hoping to have the roof on by the end of this month and then start to seal the, the building in. Um, our goal is to open uh, by next spring. So um, that's uh, been a lot of work. As part of that, one of the things we are doing is um, we are relocating the water main for the or the water service to the town hall it used to be on an old main that served the library town hall and the fire hydrant that main had corroded and so uh, we've been replacing it and uh, it'll be removed and a new supply for the court will go in but we're currently in fact today as we're recording this we're we're doing the new um supply for town hall so there's a big trench it's closed today but uh it should be open shortly you know there will be a couple uh areas left open they will be fenced off or plated off please don't uh play or walk in and around those locations as it can be dangerous and that's about it all right thanks steve anybody else remember anything they forgot to say seeing nothing if uh you want to watch this uh then you will uh, be able to see it on our facebook page and youtube channel like our facebook page subscribe to our youtube channel and sunday at one o'clock when it airs you'll be notified with that want to wish everyone a very great labor day weekend and we'll see you all next week bye bye for take, now take care everybody Imagine yourself communicating with a difference. Pandimensional Solutions helps you do this. Whether live spectator events, taped broadcasts, or real-time audience-engaging programs, you can benefit immediately from the tools Pandimensional Solutions will share with you. Do you want to make a difference? Contact us at pandimensional.com.